Oh, my word, I was planning on giving you like two seconds of why I was here. Um, but um, Sue has very, very generously introduced me like that. So thank you very much indeed. Yes, I'm here um, for lots of reasons today, mainly because I love being in rooms full of women. I know there are some very special men in here too. I've spotted you. <laughs> But it's so wonderful to be in a room full of women. And I think you are all such special, incredible people. So um, I think you're all winners, actually, just by being here. For what you do um, with your day-to-day -day, um, lives, I just admire you hugely. So, um, yes, I wanted to say that right at the beginning, because I know that we're going to have some very special winners up on the stage, but it really is important for you to know how much someone like me admires you. So well done and thank you. Um, yeah, I'm here for lots of reasons, mainly because we've been giving out loads of wipes today, um, but actually I've just realised, talking to my lovely friend Sheena here, that I should have got your email addresses as well, but anyway, if anyone wants to give me your email addresses later so I can email you about our wipes, that'd be wonderful, but yeah, I should have talked to you before, Sheena, but there you are. Um, I am thrilled, delighted to be here, um, mainly because these kind of award ceremonies that I generally host are full of men, and they're usually drunk, and you know... <laughs> It's usually not a very nice experience and I have to kind of smile on the stage and, you know, give them a big kiss and just hope that they don't touch my bottom. Um, <laughs> so um, today I have a feeling it's not going to be like that. Um, but I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that it's women in the room. Um, so uh, before we start the awards, I did want to just say one thing. I know that you are all extremely generous and wonderful people. So lots of whooping and cheering for your friends and colleagues when they come onto the stages. But if you are a winner, whether you're receiving a certificate or an award, please, can you like make it really quick? Um, <laughs> not come up here and give a long speech about how you're thanking your, you know, family and your lovers and all the rest of it. Can you just like come up here and get off? Because um, <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it? Um, uh, so yes, and, and also could you smile for the camera because that's the other thing, because we've got a fantastic male photographer and he is going to take lots of fabulous pictures and Sue's going to give lots of kisses and it's all going to be wonderful. So shall we get on with it? So these awards, as you know, are a celebration of achievement, effort, change, innovation, management, insight, and the many other traits necessary to sustain a proud profession like midwifery and consistent services in maternity. They recognise individuals, they recognise teams, management and educators, anyone who values excellence and makes improvements. They are not a competition. Not all things in life have to be a competition, but they are essentially a celebration of all of your achievements. It's important also to recognise excellence and provide examples of day-to-day -day achievement and progress to support improvement. So that is the premise of these awards, not a competition, but a celebration, and you should all really be receiving an award. So we're going to get on with our first award, which is Midwife Achievement Award. Now, the person nominated for their achievement in maternity or midwifery services in any clinical practice, leadership, or educational role. Now, this person ha has made a difference and inspired others for a lifetime of service and impact and taken on extraordinary challenges. So there is one first highly commended in this category and that highly commended is for work transforming breech birth at an international level, using her skills and knowledge not only to support women and families, but to skill up and nurture other practitioners, including midwives and doctors. A courageous midwife, yet humble, very important, and selfless, and her work is making a huge difference. Highly commended in this category goes to Sean Walker. <laughs> I mean that earlier. <laughs> Oh, congratulations. Let's Thank do a quick, a quick photograph. Well done. There we are. Have you got your image? <laughs> done. Well done, Sean. <laughs> oh, obviously, a great team around you, Sean, who are very, very happy for you. Congratulations. 
And so to the award winner of the London 2019 Maternity Festival, Midwife Achievement. She trained as a nurse and became a midwife in 1984. Some of you haven't even been born in 1984 in this room, as far as I can work out. But anyway, she is described as a bedrock of the King's caseload model, teams averaging 30 to 40% home births, a significant achievement. She has remained a frontline band six midwife, declining the opportunity to move into management other than occasionally stepping into band seven role to cover absence. Her focus is on the women in her care and her remarkable combination of a deeply woman-centered approach and exceptional clinical skills is a rare combination at a time when too many senior midwives reduced to stop doing clinical work to progress their career. The Midwife Achievement Award winner 2019 is Erica Glennie. Well done, Erica. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Now for the stat. Super, well done, Erica. Another very popular winner there. We're moving straight on to awards for innovation now. Now, these awards highlight many diverse areas of innovation, achievement and excellence. From service and staff restructuring from better birth outcomes, application of research in changing processes for better outcomes, use of new technology and integration into maternity post processes, and adapting to new science and testing regimes. We have three highly commended uh, projects and a winner in this category uh, that the judges all felt worthy of recognition. So the first highly commended. This project works to give every child born in the UK the best possible start in life. It has created an amazing app working with professionals, parents and frontline staff. It supports parents from conception to when their baby is six months old. Frontline staff find it really useful as a resource tool, supporting them in their role. The app was approved in 2018 and is the only app of its kind in the NHS Digital Library. The aim is to reduce the inequalities that are evidenced across the UK and give every child the best possible start in life. Highly commended is Best Beginnings and their Baby Buddy app. So, Shabria Papain, are you in the audience? Can you come up? be the only one so we'll see <laughs> well done well the second highly commended award goes to an innovation launched in 2017 with its evidence-based modules by authoritative researchers blog areas by substantive leaders and through engaging new individuals to submit articles about the dedicated and dynamic efforts of those working in maternity services they educate, sustain and energise the maternity community. It brings maternity into the new media age, helping to revitalise the workforce, sharing fundamental values of care, kindness and integrity. It also contributes to the education of midwives in low income countries. Highly commended goes to All For Maternity and its directors, <laughs> Sheena and Anna Byron. <laughs> oh, well done. So nice Hello. to see you. Thank you. Nice How to are you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank lovely. you. Oh. Thank My you so lovely much. friends, but I didn't choose them. <laughs> I would have done, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Well done. Congratulations, ladies. Sheena and Anna.
Oh, I wish I could work with my mum. I think that's lovely. Uh, I wish Sheena was my mum, but there you are. Uh, the third highly commended certificate for innovation goes to a midwife in London with 20 years experience as an artist using art to create new ways of communicating with women and families with her colleagues and with policymakers by asking women to post selfies of themselves breastfeeding on social media the campaign was a huge success and created a movement which is continually referred to there is a growing interest in how interdisciplinary and arts-based approaches can promote creative solutions in research, education and practice. She has used art to innovate and to really step outside the box to increase potential for maternal health promotion. Our third highly commended London 2019 Maternity Midwifery Festival Innovation Award goes to... Laura Godfrey Isaac. Well done. Not gonna touch your bottom. Oh, <laughs> if only. <laughs> well done, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Hooray! And so we now move on to the winner of the London 2019 Maternity and Midwifery Festival Innovation Award. Now, their aim was to provide personalised women-centred maternity care through a pregnancy advice line. It is innovative as it's the first time maternity services have joined up with an ambulance service working together as a joint venture across the whole maternity pathway. The outcome is collaborative work, achieving a common goal for transformed maternity care. Women booked for home births or at the three local maternity units can access advice and support 24 uh, hours a day, seven days a week. Midwives triage to the appropriate place of care and provide midwifery advice for 999 operators and healthcare professionals. The winner of the London 2019 Maternity and Midwifery Festival Innovation Award is Surrey Heartlands Health and Care Partnership Pregnancy Advice Line. Well done. So we're speeding through the awards this afternoon. We're going to move on now to the Student and Newly Qualified Midwife Award. Now this award came about uh, because we learned really from last year to flag up newly qualified midwives for their student work because so many had moved on by the time the awards actually came round. So this award is a very important one. Recognising an individual student midwife or newly qualified midwife for their contribution or achievement in midwifery or maternity practice whilst in training. Uh, this award is open to student midwives or newly qualified midwives trained or training in the South East, even, uh, in, even in recognition of achievement falls post-qualification. Now, demonstrating outstanding achievement in training, undertaking their training in exceptional circumstances, making a contribution to the profession or student experience of training, and making a contribution to maternity and midwifery whilst in training. They've also acted as a model or an advocate. Highly commended. Now, this commendation is in recognition of her work creating a website and developing an online presence via Facebook and Twitter and becoming recognised as a leader in the field very quickly where her expertise has been sought to create e-learning modules, speaking at events and being involved in policy development. Highly commended goes to Michala Marling. <laughs> Did I pronounce your name right? How do I pronounce your name? McKelly. Okay, then that's totally wrong. McKelly, well done.
เราสามท่านเอมาแคลี Okay, we move to the winner of the London 2019 Maternity and Midwifery Festival Student Award. Now it goes to a student midwife who is supporting the development and education of other student midwives by creating beautifully crafted study aids and selling them on her website via social media. <coughs> Amazingly detailed flashcards and mnemonics. Prompt cards and many other resources to aid learning. They are full of relevant, evidence-based information to make studying for student midwives that much easier. They represent an awful lot of time researching information, then painstakingly creating the detail on a study card. Her resources are enormously popular, and she's helping scores of students with their study. She's being recognised because she has used a creative way to help her peers, and has been courageous using entrepreneurial skills too, being resourceful, and making a small business work for her, her family, and for others. The London 2019 Maternity and Midwifery Festival Student Award winner is. Jessica Rawlinson. Well done. <laughs> well done, Jessica. Sounds like you've been very, very busy. Okay, we are moving on to the team award next. Maternity is a team effort, as you all know more than anybody else. So this award gets to core of effective maternity services. We have two highly commended examples, and of course, a worthy winner in this category. These awards are for a maternity or midwifery team, unit or leader, encompassing midwives, midwifery educators, the medical team, maternity care support workers, nursery um, nurses, allied health professionals, and others who have demonstrated excellent interprofessional working, transformed services. Demonstrated innovation in use of staff, working with women, or applying new processes and technologies in the maternity unit, community, or at home. Highly commended in this category. That uh, this team has had three separate nominations, by the way. So look out for them. The commendation for this uh, winner says. The Rainbow Team at St George's provide an excellent service of uh, continuity of care, and serve a large and diverse population of women choosing to birth at home. The Rainbow Team give gold standard women and family-centred care. Antenatal appointments are carried out in women's home, and a team of four ensure every midwife on the team meets every woman. And their books are at least uh, uh, sorry on their books at least once during her pregnancy, so that she will have a familiar midwife uh, when she comes to give birth. The team holds bi-monthly tea parties where new mothers are invited to share their birth experiences, and those booked for a home birth or interested in home birth can come to hear those experiences. This has had a very Positive effect, whereby pregnant women are more informed. The team invites both those whose babies are born at home as planned and those with unplanned hospital transfers. And the new mothers love coming back to tell their stories. Congratulations to Rainbow Home Birth Team. <laughs> Team pick. Squeeze in. Oh, fantastic stuff. Congratulations, ladies. Wonderful. <laughs> Our next highly commended. This team showed excellent interprofessional working between MDT. 
involved in the care of complex patients. The experience led to many positive learning points uh, that will be taken forward to future cases. The cooperation and work between the Ruskin High Risk Midwifery Team, Obstetrics Team, Anaesthetic Team, Diabetes Team, Physiotherapy Team, Moving and Handling Team, Safeguarding Team, Social Care and Postnatal Ward Matron meant all aspects of care ran smoothly for this lady, leaving her and her family hugely satisfied with her care. There were many positive learning points which the team will take forward for future cases. Congratulations, Ruskin High Risk Midwifery Team. Very well deserved, well done, R Ruskin High Risk Midwifery Team. And now to the London 2019 Maternity and Midwifery Festival Team Award winner. Now this frontline multidisciplinary high health team is innovative and has shown itself to be highly effective in identifying barriers to joined up working amongst the primary health team who care for pregnant women and their babies and developing feasible low cost solutions. Due to health team's productivity, LEAP is currently considering extending its contract between beyond rather April 2019. In 2018, the health team was recognised by the Royal Society of Medicine, winning the £3,000 John Horder Kate Prize for Multidisciplinary Team. The health team working on case study about this model for Public Health England. Congratulations to Lambeth Early Action Partnership <laughs> Health Team. Well done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And now we move to the Maternity and Midwifery Festival Management Award. Now, this award recognises a management leader who has inspired transformation, dealt with difficult change or service transformation, led the introduction of new processes or patterns of work for better outcomes, played a regional, professional and national role above and beyond their day job. There are two in this final category. Highly commended comes first. She is a senior midwifery manager at Imperial College Healthcare Trust and is an NHS midwife nurse leader with a range of experience in clinical practice, management, service improvement and practical development at Imperial College Healthcare Trust. She is a professional as well as a quality improvement coach in addition to holding a position of freedom to speak up for Safety Guardian. She is a specialist advisor to Care Quality Commission in addition to her midwifery practice, she has been in senior leadership and management roles since 2003. Her current role includes supporting the divisional performance in the field of education, research and practice standards, as well as digital optimisation. It is widely acknowledged that she makes an outstanding contribution to leadership. She promotes staff engagement, supports the provision of safe care and champions midwifery-led care. Highly commended is Mitra Bakhtaria. <laughs> This 
And so here we have it, to our final award. It feels like it's gone really quick. Should we do it all again? <laughs> I've enjoyed it. I don't want it to end. Can I come back next year? Is that all right? Where, where are the organisers? Um, so here we are, our final award. Uh, the London 2019 Maternity and Midwifery Festival Awards Management Award winner. This is what the citation says about this very special winner. She worked as a member of a robust preceptory programme with an induction programme designed to ease newly qualified midwives into gaining both competence and confidence in practice. Working as a midwife is emotionally, mentally and physically stressful, both due to personal and professional demands, as you all must know. Attrition is high and in the first two years because midwives find they cannot practice as they expected. Many newly qualified midwives find the transition from student to a confident and accountable midwife stressful and sometimes extremely overwhelming. The programme consists of an 18-month plan which focuses on skills and training in each clinical area. This year is the third cohort and to date all really enjoyed being the midwife they really wish to be. So congratulations to the London 2019 Maternity and Midwifery Festival Awards Management Award winner, Leslie Yarlett. <laughs> Drag it on a little bit longer. Come on then. Is that throwing you in the spot? Okay, sorry. Well, <laughs> don't know whether I'll actually be able to speak. Um, obviously, I'm very proud to have got this award. Um, obviously, I want to award it to all my perceptive midwives. Um, they've obviously got me here. Um, I'm very proud of the programme and how it's um, evolved over the last three years. All of the midwives that we've taken through the programme have retained um, at our trust, um, and they find <laughs> and they find that the support they get not only from myself but from all my colleagues um, helps them be able to develop into the midwives that they actually do want to be. And I'm extremely proud of them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, congratulations. So there we have it. All the awards, they're finished. Um, congratulations once again to all of you who have been commended today and of course to all of our winners. The video and the media announcements are going to be going out a little bit later on um, and they can be shared via social media by you and your trusts. Uh, the next Maternity and Midwifery Festival Awards are in Leicester at the Midlands Festival. Hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, later this year, London is going to host the International Maternity Expo 20... Uh, 19th on the 12th to the 13th of November uh, in this venue and we'll be um, chairing the I and I actually am going to be chairing the IME Awards so if you do want to nominate a colleague a friend maybe yourself um, <laughs> please speak to the organizers um, and visit the website and I really hope that we'll see you at that um, I've really enjoyed this afternoon I've enjoyed the whole day having a chance to talk to you all um, but I really meant what I said right at the beginning of the day. I've had the chance to do lots of really exciting, amazing things in my career. But the thing that changed everything for me was having children. And everything just suddenly all went into the background because my focus was now my children. And if it wasn't for people like you, those experiences wouldn't be so special. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank you for having me with you today. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.